Alright, bit. 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 So what exactly are you doing? I'm removing the front bumper because we are now going to put in side braces into the front fenders. Where are the side braces? <laughs> going to be using given they are pre-owned but these are authentic James Racing side braces from Japan. I got it from Gruber. Up Garage is pretty much international online store for car parts. It was the only set they had in stock and I figured like why not and they weren't that bad in terms of pricing. The shipping kind of killed me but but authentic J's from Japan. I did not get them overnighted, but the shipping was still kind of fast though. I got this sticker from them. Oof. These basically are going to go inside the front fenders like this. There's one on each side obviously. It's basically extra bracing for the chassis. So this should help the rigidity of the car, especially through turns and stuff. There it goes. The screws and bolts you need to remove to take off the fenders is this one right here, this one right here, this one right here, and this one, uh, hold on, this one right here, and then one near the side skirt or under the side skirt, and then also you need a screwdriver to remove these screws for their fender liner if you have one. It's a pretty simple process. It's just, you know, just a bunch of screws. <laughs> a family of rats come out. <laughs> for the fenders under the, this behind the side skirt so to remove the side skirt there's four clips under the side skirts two screws in the front take all that off and then you just twelve seconds later oh. there you go that's how you take off the side skirt but yeah there's the there's the bolt and then the last Get into through here. All the screws are in, and bolts are out, so you just. There you go. There you go. Alright, guys, so literally all you need to do for these braces find out which side is supposed to go on. This side is the, the left side, or right side. You gotta take off the, the door, the door screws, where these go in of the brace. And then there's a hole over here that lines up with this hole right here. And it comes with this T-bolt and a nut and a spacer. That's about it. We're gonna install it and I'll explain it after we're done installing it. All right, so this is the the passenger side. Uh, at first we thought we had to take off the door, but really you just need to take out the bolts and slide this thin piece of the brace right over there. Okay, these are these are not brand new. I bought them secondhand, obviously, as I explained. Normally the new ones do come with slightly longer bolts, uh, but these OEM bolts, I, from what I can tell, they, they'll, they'll do fine as long as we snug them up. But right here, but it comes with a spacer, that little T flange bolt thingy, 
and a nut and spacer. T, you flatten it, put it inside the hole of the chassis, make a T out so that way it's stuck in there. Then you put the spacer behind the brace and then you put the spacer or, or the washer and the nut on top of that. Snug all that down and there you have it. All right guys, so we uh, snugged down well, we didn't look up torque specs or anything. We just snugged them down until they felt really tight and this too. But yeah, there it is. That's how you put it on. Then the fender and the side skirt, they go on just reverse. It's not that big of a deal. We're not going to record the other side because it's literally the exact same thing. By the way, guys, in case you haven't noticed, we did this while it was on jack stands. Um, we're not, we did snug them down, but what we're going to do now is loosen them a little bit and put them down on the ground, or put the car on the ground, and then uh, tighten them back up. We're gonna do that uh, after we're pretty much done on that side. Uh, simply because we suspect that since it's on jack stands, the body's a little bit flexed. It would make more sense if we tighten these, you know, mounting bolts down when it's, when the chassis is on its own feet. It just makes more sense. It's kind of like when torquing down a, a coil over mounting bolts and stuff you know what I mean so yeah keep that in mind eventually all right going back to what we said yes before you torque down these these nuts put the car on the ground because before we did that the door closed normally everything was fine but when we put on the ground the doors were not closing normally so we had to loosen them the four bolts uh, Steve held the door up while I tightened them down because they were hanging a little bit a, a tad too low so yeah highly recommend tightening these bolts down with the car on the ground so yeah that is it and here's the other side I'm gonna get some JDM points at least I should but I won't because no one will ever see these it's actually a pretty simple process uh, it's just a bunch of bolts and then Probably taking off the side skirts kind of a little annoying, but that's about it. All right, shout out to Gruber of Garage for hooking me up with these. These were the only ones in stock when I was looking through their inventory. So they hooked it up. They hooked your boy up. Shout out to Steve for helping me install them. And I hope y'all got something from this video. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Follow me and uh, Steve on Instagram. And thanks for watching. Peace.